Now this was announced about a week ago at this point, but now if you have Media Composer 8.4.2 and a perpetual license that is active, Media Composer now includes Titler Pro version 2. Now if you had a subscription, you already had access to Titler Pro 2. Now you'll have access to Titler Pro 2.5, but I'm a perpetual license holder, so I'll get Titler Pro 2. All right. Now, as, as we know that Titler Pro 1 has been included with Media Composer for quite some time, but Titler Pro 2 gives us so many more options. I mean, it really kicks up what Media Composer can do out of the box. It really takes it up to another level, especially because now we have things like lights. Um, we can create bevels, things like that. So here's our lighting tab. You can have your presets for your lights. But if you come up here to your scene tab, you'll see you have light settings and things like that. Um, now you can actually download Tyler Pro 2, get your upgrade from Tyler Pro 2. You can do that through your Avid account, through your My Avid account. It should be in there. Or you can also use your uh, Avid application manager, which is where I download it from. Now installation and authorization was extremely easy. It authorized automatically as soon as it was installed. So really simple, really easy. As you can see, it sort of caches that title whenever we close it down. That way we can actually you know, go ahead and play this without fully rendering it. So that's pretty cool. Now you can see that the interface of Tyler Pro 2 is extremely similar to Tyler Pro version one. You know, we have things like our bounding box for our text, but it's, you know, it's been greatly updated, especially in like the effects. So our library, we can go here to effects. We have a kinetic motion pack here. Of course we still have our shapes and then our style tabs. So lots of great styles here. So I'll load up. And of course, our paragraph templates. I'll just type something in here. Let me add a new paragraph. Control A to select everything. Say new title. We'll go back to our library. You see our title there. All right, so just like Titler Pro version one, extend this out across the whole area. You just choose, oh, I don't know. I'll just choose something here at random, something real simple with a blue plasma. And one thing we couldn't do in Titler Pro version one, you remember whenever we would preview our title, our animation, things like that, uh, right in the interface, that we'd have a black background. Well, now we can actually preview that with the full video background, which is, that's kind of a nice addition as well. Now when I go to close this down, you'll see that it's sort of caching our title. So we're actually going to be able to play it back without rendering it in Media Composer. Now you can actually change the way this works up in the settings, but I'm not going to get into that. So we'll just let this finish its quick render. All right, and it's done. As you can see, it's not the green dot on there, so it's not rendered, but I can still play it back. You can see a little bit of animation there. Of course, it's going to play back better if you completely render it. Of course, that all depends on your system. My system is not the uh, best system in the world here that we're on right now. But that's about all I wanted to mention in this video is that if you have Media Composer 8.4.2 and a perpetual license and you have an active support plan, in case you missed it, go ahead and pop open your Avid Application Manager or head over to your uh, Avid account and go ahead and get your upgrade to Titler Pro version 2. It's a great addition to Media Composer. It's a really great and welcome update to that uh, support and upgrade plan that we are now using with Media Composer. And of course, you know, I don't want to go through everything here because uh, most of you already know how Tidler works, uh, but we have things now like uh, custom bevels, custom bevel sizes. So this is really a much more of a professional solution now than Tidler Pro version 1 was. And go ahead to our effects tab. Of course, we still have our keyframing, transitions, things like that. And of course, the awesome addition of our light settings and our lights, which I can't really show it too much with this title because it's see-through. But I got to tell you, the lights are really great. Do something real quick with the light. Change the direction of it. The directional lights, go to a point light. You see that there so you could animate your lights now that's really nice that it's a really great interface to do this and of course if you have something like avid effects boris red 5 you could already do sort of lights and of course there are other titling solutions like marquee but i really like the titler pro interface it's a lot easier to use 
go check out Tyler Pro 2 if you have Media Composer 8.4.2 or higher and go ahead and download that. It's uh, included in your support and upgrade plan.